Is this the Rocky Balboa of Northern Irish whiskeys? This the underdog that takes the title. We'll find out today when we give the Bushmills 16 a try. The Bushmills 16 is aged for 15 years in Oloroso sherry and bourbon casks. And for that final year, it's aged in port casks. It really brings in like this fruity floral port finish um, that really sets it apart, I feel, from the competition. Floral nose and uh, an overlay of juicy fruits. Real juicy, so like pears, mango, which is, which is quite interesting. Berries, fruit. Floral. It's almost like gummy bears or something. Huh? It's pretty prominent too. I don't know what brought it out, but you do get a gummy bear flavor. But in a very good way. Yeah, not, nothing off-putting at all. <sighs> you really taste that finishing that happened in the port cast that really comes out in the end, I feel. This one clocks in at 40%. This is a beautiful zipping whiskey that, that I can I can nibble on. A little below 60 US, something like that. That's what we picked it up at. And uh, for that kind of money, I, I, I'd give it a buy rate. 21 or no normally comes in around 180 US. You're paying a lot extra for these additional five years. So I might want to go with this one here in that case. Although I compared it to, to Rock in the beginning, it actually is a, has a little bit of Apollo Creed in it as well. It has a little bit more finesse to its game. It's it's smooth, it's well-rounded. Northern Irish, Apollo Creed. But either way, it's certainly a champion whiskey. Depending on your budget, it might not be your everyday whiskey. It might be something you break out for special occasions or long weekends. But if you like Irish whiskey, you absolutely have to give this one a try. Definitely a winner. Ah!